Hi there, welcome back to this brand new YouTube video episode and it's been a while that I have not been active onto this channel because I was preoccupied with my other work and uh, recently uh, one of my previous uh, videos has got a lot of comments that uh, the software that was used into that particular video is not providing a uh, few of the compression options and hence we are going further with one of the open source software which goes by the name 7-zip and uh, just a note here uh, video files images which are already compressed PNG JPEG uh, and any music files will not be compressed because they are actually uh, very much in the highest compression level that they can be uh, achieved with the codex if you are considering with video uh, x64 sorry uh, h264 h265 are the compression mechanisms let's uh, not go further in that technicality but just keep in mind that uh, the videos audios and Im already compressed images are not eligible for this video because the main focus here is uh, suppose you have n number of gaming files onto your hard drive and you want to copy it onto your pen drive and you are hitting the uh, storage limits of your pen drive and now you want to highly compress the files right so that's when this uh, trick comes in handy so eventually what you are going to do in order to go transfer the files first you will compress the file in one system and zip it copy the zipped file to the pen drive and then you can distribute to the other systems right so for this video I will be using these files as one of my sample test files here and if you see there is a 7-zip option for me right so this is available for me because I have installed it so how to install it so let's go and do a normal search uh, onto the internet uh, you can do uh, with the DuckDuckGo or any google.com right and you have to eventually end up onto this website which is 7-zip.org and it is a free and open source software which is available across all the platforms Windows, Mac and Linux and based on your CPU architecture choose the download file which is available applicable for you so for me it is Intel 64 bit processor so x64 is uh, considered as Intel processor and 64 bit is actually the memory sequencing or in general the number of bits that my system can accommodate so I will be clicking on this download button and uh, I can just select as yes keep and then install the application right and that's how simple it is to install the 7-zip application onto your system so once we are done with this process we will now move further and uh, go back to the files which we want to compress so if you see this these are the uh, 15 these are the 15 items and uh, overall uh, if you consider these three files you can consider these as gaming files or in general uh, a, an, an number of collections that you can have n number of files that you can have different formats DLL formats uh, HTML formats or any web project uh, which uh, goes beyond uh, uh, handling them right so you will be having a number of directories in the in them you will be having a number of files right so choose all of them which you want to compress it right click it and now there is this context menu here uh, when you right click and when you click on this 7 zip there is this uh, drop down and for high compression rates you can go with 7 uh, z format also if you want to just use a uh, zip format which is uh, considerably uh, available across all Android mobiles as well so zip is uh, 
more convenient but 7z and tar are actually uh, they need uh, softwares onto the other systems as well right so let's just use add to archive first and once we do that there are certain options that you can choose so first of all you can choose a format so let me just provide you the context and I will be testing out this with two formats 7z and zip alright so if I choose first as zip and I have to now in general when you open uh, when this uh, window is available for you it will be in normal status uh, the status of compression level will be set to normal but uh, you have to choose as ultra and once you do that uh, you have to now go on to the decom uh, the compression method you can choose deflate but uh, LZMA is actually the latest one and uh, if LZMA2 is also available you can choose it right so once we do that now let's come to the direct uh, dictionary size and word size so ideally 64 bit is enough so dictionary size is actually in terms of uh, um, memory dictionary size if you if you are uh, from background of computer organization and architecture you might be knowing this so you can go with 64 bit uh, 64 MB as dictionary size and you can also go further till 255 MB which actually requires more memory um, more computing power to compress the file and also more uh, computing power to even the decompression will take the same amount of memory and CPU processor processing time right so for this video I can choose 256 MB and uh, word size I can just choose 128 MB or even more right and the number of CPUs that I want to utilize and here if you can see we require 250 8 MB of memory for decompressing right so this is the overall view as of now I have chosen uh, archive format as zip then compression level as 7 uh, as 9 ultra which is the uh, I'm, I'm not sure why this is uh, 0 1 3 5 and so eventually you have to choose the ultra which is high compression rate and you have to choose LZMA uh, which is the latest compression method and you have to choose the dictionary size I will be choosing uh, 256 MB now uh, encryption method I think zip crypto is fine I'm not sure what is the encryption method but yeah let's go ahead and click OK and now we are in line to creation of a zip file and at the end of this we will be also doing a 7-zip 7z uh, format and then we will be comparing the same and how much uh, space that we can save from this so I think uh, 80 MB 80 to 90 MB will be the uh, overall or 100 120 MB will be the final zip uh, file size that's my guess because uh, if you see the compression ratio it is 9% which means if there are 100 pieces in this uh, file 100 MB is the file size of the overall compression thing then you will be having 9% of it as your output and let me also show you the CPU and RAM processes how much RAM it is consuming for me so it is taking a lot of uh, compute power and also it is taking a lot of memory and that's one of the downside because uh, you are trying to compress it right and uh, the more amount of uh, RAM and more amount of uh, CPU is utilized because of your options that you have chosen I have chosen higher dictionary size higher word size and hence this requires more uh, compute power onto your system but if you are onto a mediocre system then you can go ahead and choose the um, 
size which is applicable for you right so I think this will be done in 20 more seconds so in the meanwhile I think now it's the right time for me to promote my channel so I will be bringing up more such tech content and tricks uh, onto this channel so please do follow on to this channel like and subscribe so that it will motivate me and I will be posting on a regular intervals and do comment your issues that I can address alright and I might be able to present with a new video and I will be picking one of the comment as my video topic for my next so 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 if you see I have processed overall uh, overall I have processed 1.5 uh, 1.05 GB and that has been compressed into 0.1 GB 0.1 GB right which is 127 MB so if you if you are happy with this file size compression uh, with zip format you can uh, leave this video and you can end this video here but if you want to go further and get the compression uh, comparison of these two compressions formats zip and 7z let's go further and do it so I'm not choosing this zip because I have already done it and now I'll be again clicking on add to archive and now here I will be choosing the archive format as 7z and if you see I will be again choosing the same but now there is this new compression method which is LZMA2 which is more latest version of this compression and uh, I will be choosing uh, this time the same 256 MB and word size as 256 MB so I think that's it uh, those are where the things that you need to take care of and compression method for 7z it, uh, we actually have only one encryption method so uh, let's go further and click on ok so yeah uh, I think we have two minutes to process this file and let's see the CPU and RAM utilization for this again it's it will be the same 64% uh, 69 and I think it will go beyond 90 and uh, so this the CPU that I am on is uh, i7 8th generation yeah i7 8th generation processor so if you are on a very modern system I think uh, you will be not be straining that much but as of now I'm straining more onto my CPU and my system is equipped with 16 GB of RAM uh, so that's why I was able to accommodate 4.5 GB uh, of memory for only one application so so there is that uh, uh, overhead of compressing uh, compressing the files onto uh, any system uh, which you require which the end goal of your uh, actual compression is to save the storage right so you have to deal with it now and I think this is more uh, this is more uh, performant because if you see the compression ratio it is merely 10% it is not even going beyond 10% so 6% 6 to 8% is like uh, 10 sorry uh, it will be like 1 GB will be compressed to 60 MB which is insane which is insane right if you are happy with this kind of performance please drop a like it, it will eventually motivate me right 
so yeah i will be i will be back in a minute and i don't want you to waste uh, i don't want your time to be uh, wasted Hmm. Yeah, now we are back and uh, the remaining time uh, ha has hit to zero zero and if you see the compression ratio it is now at an insane level 5% right so you can expect 50 to 60 MB and there it is guys uh, it is 64 MB which is insane right 1 GB is now down compressed to a size of 64 MB can you just imagine it and how much of storage you are saving it with this simple application 7-zip so Stay tuned for more such videos and I hope you have liked this content. Thank you. Thank you for watching and staying for so long. Thank you all.